Soy sauce, also called soya sauce in British English, is a liquid condiment of Chinese origin, made from a fermented paste of soybeans, roasted grain, brine, and Aspergillus orizae or Aspergillus soje molds. Soy sauce in its current form was created about 2,200 years ago during the Western Han Dynasty of ancient China, and spread throughout East and Southeast Asia, where it is used in cooking and as a condiment. History <inaudible> <inaudible> East Asia <inaudible> China Soy sauce Yu is considered almost as old as soy paste a type of fermented paste jiang, jiang obtained from soybeans which had appeared during the Western Han Dynasty 206 BC to 220 AD and was listed in the bamboo slips found in the archaeological site Mawangdui. Ma there are several precursors of soy sauce that are associated products with soy paste. Among them the earliest one is Qingjiang, Qingjiang that had appeared in AD 40 and was listed in Simen Yuling. Si min Others are Zhangqing, Zhangqing Qiji Shi Ji and Qiqing Shi Qing, which are recorded in Qimen Yaoshu Qi min Yaoshu in AD 540. By the time of the Song Dynasty 960 AD, the term soy sauce Zhang Yu had become the accepted name for the liquid condiment, which are documented in two books, Shanjia Qinggong Shan Jia Qinggong and Pujiang Wuxi Zhangkuilu Pujiang Wuxi Zhangkuilu during the Song Dynasty 960 AD. Like many salty condiments, soy sauce was originally a way to stretch salt, historically an expensive commodity. During the Zhou dynasty of ancient China, fermented fish with salt was used as a condiment in which soybeans were included during the fermentation process. By the time of the Han dynasty, this had been replaced with the recipe for soy paste and its byproduct soy sauce, by using soybeans as the principal ingredient, with fermented fish based sauces developing separately into fish sauce. The 19th century sinologist Samuel Wells Williams wrote that in China, the best soy sauce is made by boiling beans soft, adding an equal quantity of wheat or barley, and leaving the mass to ferment, a portion of salt and three times as much water are afterwards put in, and the whole compound left for two or three months when the liquid is pressed and strained. <laughs> Korea the earliest soy sauce brewing in Korea seems to have begun prior to the era of the Three Kingdoms c. 57 BC. The Records of the Three Kingdoms, a Chinese historical text written and published in the 3rd century, mentions that, Goguryeo people are good at brewing fermented soy beans, in the section named Dong Yi, Eastern Foreigners, in the Book of Wei. Jangdoks used for soy sauce brewing are found in the mural paintings of Anak Tomb No. 3 from the 4th century Goguryeo. In Samguk Sagi, a historical record of the Three Kingdoms era, it is written that ganjang soy sauce and danjang soybean paste along with miju soybean block and jayotgal salted seafood were prepared for the wedding ceremony of the King Sinmun in February 683. Sikwa Ji, a section from Goryosa History of Goryeo, recorded that Ganjang and Danjang were included in the relief supplies in 1018, after a Khitan invasion, and in 1052, when a famine occurred. Joseon texts such as Guanchwaryo and Jungbo Salim Jongje contain the detailed procedures on how to brew good quality Ganjang and Danjang. Yuhop Changseo explains how to pick a date for brewing, what to forbear, and how to keep and preserve Ganjang and Danjang. Topic. Japan Chinese Buddhist monks introduced soy sauce into Japan in the 7th century, where it is known as shoyu, zhang yu shoyu. Topic. Europe Records of the Dutch East India Company list soy sauce as a commodity in 1737, when 75 large barrels were shipped from Dejima, Japan, to Batavia present-day Jakarta on the island of Java. 35 barrels from that shipment were then shipped to the Netherlands. In the 18th century, diplomat and scholar Isaac Titzing published accounts of brewing soy sauce. 
Although earlier descriptions of soy sauce had been disseminated in the West, his was among the earliest to focus specifically on the brewing of the Japanese version. By the mid-19th century, Japanese soy sauce gradually disappeared from the European market, and the condiment became synonymous with the Chinese product. Europeans were unable to make soy sauce because they did not understand the function of Aspergillus oryzae, the fungus used in its brewing. Soy sauce made from ingredients such as portobello mushrooms were disseminated in European cookbooks during the late 18th century. A Swedish recipe for soya was published in the 1770 edition of Kajsa Warg's Gelpreda i Hushalingen für Unge Fruntimber and was flavored with allspice and mace. Topic. Production Soy sauce is made either by fermentation or by hydrolysis. Some commercial sauces have both fermented and chemical sauces. Flavor, color, and aroma developments during production are attributed to non-enzymatic Maillard browning. Variation is usually achieved as the result of different methods and durations of fermentation, different ratios of water, salt, and fermented soy, or through the addition of other ingredients. Topic. Traditional Traditional soy sauces are made by mixing soybeans and grain with mold cultures such as Aspergillus oryzae and other related microorganisms and yeasts the resulting mixture is called koji. In Japan, the term koji is used both for the mixture of soybeans, wheat, and mold as well as for the mold itself. Historically, the mixture was fermented naturally in large urns and under the sun, which was believed to contribute extra flavors. Today, the mixture is placed in a temperature and humidity controlled incubation chamber. Traditional soy sauces take months to make. Soaking and cooking the soybeans are soaked in water and boiled until cooked. Wheat is roasted. Crushed. Koji culturing an equal amount of boiled soybeans and roasted wheat are mixed to form a grain mixture. A culture of Aspergillus spore is added to the grain mixture and mixed or the mixture is allowed to gather spores from the environment itself. The cultures include Aspergillus, a genus of fungus that is used for fermenting various ingredients the cultures are called koji in Japanese. Three species are used for brewing soy sauce. A. Orizae, strains with high proteolytic capacity are used for brewing soy sauce. A. Soje, this fungus also has a high proteolytic capacity. A. Tamari, this fungus is used for brewing tamari, a variety of soy sauce. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the yeasts in the culture convert some of the sugars to ethanol which can undergo secondary reactions to make other flavor compounds. Other microbes contained in the culture. Bacillus spp. genus, this organism is likely to grow soy sauce ingredients, and to generate odors and ammonia. Lactobacillus species, this organism makes a lactic acid that increases the acidity in the feed. Brewing, the cultured grain mixture is mixed into a specific amount of salt brine for wet fermentation or with coarse salt for dry fermentation and left to brew. Over time, the aspergillus mold on the soy and wheat break down the grain proteins into free amino acid and protein fragments and starches into simple sugars. This amino glycosidic reaction gives soy sauce its dark brown color. Lactic acid bacteria ferments the sugars into lactic acid and yeast makes ethanol, which through aging and secondary fermentation makes numerous flavor compounds typical of soy sauce. Pressing, the fully fermented grain slurry is placed into cloth-lined containers and pressed to separate the solids from the liquid soy sauce. The isolated solids are used as fertilizer or fed to animals while the liquid soy sauce is processed further. Pasteurization, the raw soy sauce is heated to eliminate any active yeasts and molds remaining in the soy sauce and can be filtered to remove any fine particulates. Storage, the soy sauce can be aged or directly bottled and sold. Acid hydrolyzed vegetable protein Some brands of soy sauce are made from acid hydrolyzed soy protein instead of brewed with a traditional culture. This takes about three days. Although they have a different flavor, aroma, and texture when compared to brewed soy sauces, they can be produced more quickly and cheaply, and also have a longer shelf life and are usually made for these reasons. 
The clear plastic packets of dark sauce common with Chinese style takeout food typically use a hydrolyzed vegetable protein formula. Some higher priced hydrolyzed vegetable protein products with no added sugar or colorings are sold as low sodium soy sauce alternatives called liquid aminos in health food stores, similar to the way salt substitutes are used. These products are, however, not necessarily low in sodium. <laughs> High salt liquid state fermented soy sauce High salt liquid state fermentation HLF of soybeans depends heavily on microbial activity, metabolism and enzymatic hydrolysis of macronutrients. During HLF, koji-infused soybeans are exposed to air so that hydrolytic enzymes of the mold can continuously break down macronutrients within the soybean. Ample water, usually about 2 to 2.5 times the weight of the feed, is required to support sufficient microbial growth. High amount of salt concentration 17 to 20% is required to selectively inhibit microbial activity. HLF is generally carried out under 15 to 30 degrees Celsius and requires long aging period, usually from 90 to 180 days. In the aging period, constant stirring of maromi is required for distributing nutrients as well as flavoring compounds evenly. In some cases, maromi is exposed to direct sunlight to facilitate the decomposition of macronutrients. Due to the high salinity of HLF maromi, only anaerobic halophile can survive in the medium. Beside the 15 to 30 degrees Celsius temperature range narrows down the growth condition to allow only the growth of mesophiles. Similar to the fermentation of pickle, the primary lactic acid fermentation of sugars by halophils reduces the pH of maromi down to acidic range. Lowered pH further limited the growth of undesirable microbes, but favors the growth of fermentative yeast which contributes to secondary fermentation that generate various flavoring compounds and odorants. Low salt solid state fermented soy sauce LSF, also referred as rapid fermenting, is a modern fermentation method invented in response to high market demand. Compared to HLF, LSF employs pure cultures at a relatively higher temperature 40 to 55 degrees Celsius and lower brine solution concentrations 13 to 15 percent. In LSF, koji is mixed with the equivalent weight of brine to form solid maromi. The elevated temperature accelerates the fermentation process significantly. Due to the short aging 15 to 30 days period of LSF, and low production cost, LSF soy sauce LSFSS accounts for more share of the Chinese soy sauce market. <laughs> Chemical composition The chemical composition of soy sauce can be affected easily by raw materials, fermentation methodologies, fermenting molds and strains, and post-fermentation treatments. Although the formation mechanism of chemical composition in soy sauce is complex, it has been widely accepted that free amino acids, water-soluble peptides and Maillard reaction products in soy sauce are considered as essential chemical composition and to provide core sensory effects. The primary fermentation of lactic acid fermenting halophils has lowered the pH of the maromi, and this has directly resulted in an acidic pH range 4.4 to 5.4 of soy sauce products. The secondary fermentation conducted by heterofermentative microbes provides soy sauce with a wide range of flavor and odorant compounds by breaking down macronutrients. Soy proteins and grain proteins are hydrolyzed into short peptide chain and free amino acids, which adds umami taste to the product. Based on the result of free amino acid analysis, the most abundant amino acids in Chinese soy sauce product are glutamic acid, aspartic acid, alanine and leucine. Starch is hydrolyzed into simple sugars which contribute to the sweet flavor in soy sauce. Legume fats may also have been decomposed into short-chain fatty acids, and the interaction among lipid and other macronutrients also result in richer flavor in the final product. Non-enzymatic browning also contributes significantly to the property development of soy sauce. The hydrolysis of protein and large carbohydrates has provided free amino acids and simple sugars as reagents for Maillard reaction. Topic: 
Sensory profile The taste of soy sauce is predominated by saltiness, followed by moderate umami, sweet taste, and finally slight bitterness, which is hard to perceive due to the masking effect of other tastes. The overall flavor of soy sauce is a result of the balance and interaction among different taste components. The saltiness is largely attributed to the presence of sodium chloride in brine. The sugars hydrolyzed from starch add sweetness into soy sauce. Umami is largely caused by the presence of free amino acids. Besides, the interaction between glutamine and sodium cation may have given rise to sodium glutamate MSG, which can further contribute to the umami flavor. Basic tastes can also be attributed to amino acids groups arranged in specific sequence. In soy sauce, it was found that amino acids were grouped as MSG-like monosodium glutamate-like asp plus glue, sweet ala plus gly plus esser plus thr, bitter arg plus his plus eel plus lu plus met plus phi plus trp plus tri plus val, and tasteless cy's plus lease plus pro. Despite a large variety of volatile and odorant compounds that have been identified in soy sauce, the food product per se does not present a strong aroma. Alcohols, acids, esters, aldehydes, ketones, phenols, heterocyclic compounds, alkynes and benzenes are identified in Chinese soy sauces. An explanation for this observation is that the aroma of soy sauce does not depend largely on the aroma active compounds. The subtle aroma is a result of a critical balance. Achieved among all volatile and odorant compounds, whose respective concentrations are relatively low. Variations by country Soy sauce is widely used as an important flavoring and has been integrated into the traditional cuisines of many East Asian and Southeast Asian cultures. Despite their rather similar appearance, soy sauces made in different cultures and regions are different in taste, consistency, fragrance and saltiness. Soy sauce retains its quality longer when kept away from direct sunlight. Burmese <inaudible> 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 Burmese soy sauce production is dated back to the Bagan era in the 9th and 10th century. Scripts written in praise of Pei Non Bayer Ye, literally, bean fish sauce, were found. Thick soy sauce is called Kya Nyo, from Chinese Zhang Yo. Chinese <inaudible> 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 Chinese soy sauces Chinese, Zhang Yu Pinyin, Zhang Yu, Jit Ping, Zoeing 3JAU4, Cantonese Yale, Zheng Yao, or alternatively, Shi Yu Pinyin, Chi Yu, Jit Ping, C6JAU4, Cantonese Yale, Si Yao are primarily made from soybeans, with relatively low amounts of other grains. Chinese soy sauce can be roughly split into two classes, brewed or blended. Chinese soy sauces can also be classified into low salt solid state fermented soy sauce LSF and high salt liquid state fermented soy sauce HLF. Topic: <inaudible> Brewed. <inaudible> soy sauce that has been brewed directly from a fermentation process using wheat, soybeans, salt and water without additional additives. Light or fresh soy sauce, Sheng Chou Pinyin, Sheng Chou, Jit Ping, Sang Wan Kao Wan, Cantonese Yale, Song Chao or Zhang Ching, Pinyin, Zhang Ching, Jit Ping, Zoeing 3 Seeing 1, Cantonese Yale, Zhang Ching, is a thin, low viscosity, opaque, lighter brown soy sauce, brewed by first culturing steamed wheat and soybeans with aspergillus, and then letting the mixture ferment in brine. It is the main soy sauce used for seasoning, since it is saltier, has less noticeable color, and also adds a distinct flavor. Tu cho, tu cho a light soy sauce made from the first pressing of the soybeans, this can be loosely translated as first soy sauce, or referred to as premium light soy sauce. Tu cho is sold at a premium because, like extra virgin olive oil, the flavor of the first pressing is considered superior. Due to its delicate flavor it is used primarily for seasoning light dishes and for dipping. Shuang Huang, Shuang Huang a light soy sauce that is double fermented by using the light soy sauce from another batch to take the place of brine for a second brewing. This adds further complexity to the flavor of the light soy sauce. 
Due to its complex flavor this soy sauce is used primarily for dipping. Yin Yu, Yin Yu a darker soy sauce brewed primarily in Taiwan by culturing only steamed soybeans with aspergillus and mixing the cultured soybeans with coarse rock salt before undergoing prolonged dry fermentation. The flavor of this soy sauce is complex and rich and is used for dipping or in red cooking. For the former use, Yin Yu can be thickened with starch to make a thick soy sauce. Topic. Blended Additives with sweet or umami savory tastes are sometimes added to a finished brewed soy sauce to modify its taste and texture. Dark and old soy sauce, Lao Cho Pinyin, Lao Cho, Jit Ping, Lu 5 Cao 1, Cantonese Yale, Lu Chao, a darker and slightly thicker soy sauce made from light soy sauce. This soy sauce is made through prolonged aging and may contain added caramel color and or molasses to give it its distinctive appearance. It has a richer, slightly sweeter, and less salty flavor than light soy sauce. This variety is mainly used during cooking, since its flavor develops during heating. Dark soy sauce is also occasionally used to add color and flavor to a dish after cooking. Mushroom dark soy In the finishing and aging process of making dark soy sauce, the broth of Volvriella volvicia straw mushroom is mixed into the soy sauce and is then exposed to the sun to make this type of dark soy. The added broth gives this soy sauce a richer flavor than plain dark soy sauce. Thick soy sauce is a dark soy sauce that has been thickened with starch and sugar and occasionally flavored with certain spices and MSG. This sauce is often used as a dipping sauce or finishing sauce and poured on food as a flavorful addition. However, due to its sweetness and caramelized flavors from its production process the sauce is also used in red cooking. Shrimp soy sauce Fresh soy sauce is simmered with fresh shrimp and finished with sugar, baiju type of distilled liquor, baiju and spices. A specialty of suzhou. Topic. Filipino In the Philippines, soy sauce is called toyo in the native languages, derived from tau yu in Hokkien and is a broad term used for both the Japanese shoyu and Chinese jongyo. Philippine soy sauce is usually a combination of soybeans, wheat, salt, and caramel color. It is thinner in texture and has a saltier taste than its Southeast Asian counterparts, similar to Japanese variety. Toyo is used as a marinade, an ingredient in cooked dishes, and most often as a table condiment, usually alongside other sauces such as fish sauce and sugar cane vinegar It is often mixed and served with the juice of the calamansi times Citrofortunella microcarpa, also called calamandan, limoncito. The combination is known as toyomansi, which can be comparable to the Japanese ponzu sauce soy sauce with yuzu. Toyo is also a main ingredient in Filipino adobo, one of the more famous dishes of Filipino cuisine. Topic: <inaudible> Hawaiian. Soy sauce is a very popular condiment and marinade for many dishes in the Hawaiian cuisine. Aloha shoyu is soy sauce made in the islands. Aloha is of the acid hydrolyzed vegetable protein variety. Topic. Indonesian In Indonesia, soy sauce is known as ketchup old spelling, ketjap, which is a catch-all term for fermented sauces, and cognate to the English word, ketchup. The most popular type of soy sauce in Indonesian cuisine is ketchup manis or sweet soy sauce. The term ketchup is also used to describe other non-soy-based sauces, such as ketchup ikan fish sauce and ketchup ingress Worcestershire sauce, lit. English sauce, due to Worcestershire sauce originating in England. Three common varieties of soy-based ketchup exist in Indonesian cuisine, used either as ingredients or condiments. Ketchup manis, sweetened soy sauce, which has a thick syrupy consistency and a unique, pronounced, sweet somewhat treacle-like flavor due to generous addition of palm sugar. Regular soy with brown sugar and a trace of molasses added can substitute. It is by far, the most popular type of soy sauce employed in Indonesian cuisine, accounts for an estimated 90% of the nation's total soy sauce production. 
Ketchup manis is an important sauce in Indonesian signature dishes, such as nasi goreng, mie goreng, satay, tongseng and seamer. Sambal ketchup for example is type of sambal dipping sauce of ketchup manis with sliced chili, tomato and shallot, a popular dipping sauce for sat kambing goat meat satay and ikan bakar grilled fish, seafood. Since soy sauce is of Chinese origin, ketchup asin is also an important seasoning in Chinese Indonesian cuisine. Ketchup manis sedang, medium sweet soy sauce, which has a less thick consistency, is less sweet and has a saltier taste than ketchup manis. Ketchup asin, regular soy sauce derived from the Japanese shoyu, but are usually more concentrated, thicker, darker color and stronger flavor, it can be replaced by Chinese light soy sauce in some recipes. Salty soy sauce was first introduced into Indonesia by Hokkien people so its taste resembles that of Chinese soy sauce. Hakka soy sauce made from black beans is very salty and large productions are mainly made in Bangka Island. Japanese Shoyu is traditionally divided into five main categories depending on differences in their ingredients and method of production. Most, but not all Japanese soy sauces include wheat as a primary ingredient, which tends to give them a slightly sweeter taste than their Chinese counterparts. They also tend towards an alcoholic sherry-like flavor, sometimes enhanced by the addition of small amounts of alcohol as a natural preservative. The widely varying flavors of these soy sauces are not always interchangeable, some recipes only call for one type or the other, much as a white wine cannot replace a red's flavor or beef stock does not make the same results as fish stock. Some soy sauces made in the Japanese way or styled after them contain about 50% wheat. Varieties <inaudible> 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 Nong thick taste. Originating in the Kanto region, its usage eventually spread all over Japan. Over 80% of the Japanese domestic soy sauce production is of koikuchi, and can be considered the typical Japanese soy sauce. It is made from roughly equal quantities of soybean and wheat. This variety is also called kajoyu or namashoyu when it is not pasteurized. Usakuchi thin taste. Particularly popular in the Kansai region of Japan, it is both saltier and lighter in color than koikuchi. The lighter color arises from the use of amazaki, a sweet liquid made from fermented rice, that is used in its production. Tamari, tamari made mainly in the Chubu region of Japan, tamari is darker in appearance and richer in flavor than koikuchi. It contains little or no wheat. Wheat-free tamari can be used by people with gluten intolerance. It is the original. Japanese soy sauce, as its recipe is closest to the soy sauce originally introduced to Japan from China. Technically, this variety is known as miso damari, wei seng lu ri as this is the liquid that runs off miso as it matures. The Japanese word tamari is derived from the verb tamaru lu ru that signifies to accumulate. Referring to the fact that tamari was traditionally a liquid byproduct made during the fermentation of miso type of seasoning, Japan is the leading producer of tamari. Shiro, but white. In contrast to tamari soy sauce, shiro soy sauce uses mostly wheat and very little soybean, lending it a light appearance and sweet taste. It is more commonly used in the Kansai region to highlight the appearances of food, for example sashimi. Saishikomi, zai shi, twice brewed. This variety substitutes previously made koikuchi for the brine normally used in the process. Consequently, it is much darker and more strongly flavored. This type is also known as kanro shoyu or sweet soy sauce. Newer varieties of Japanese soy sauce include jenin, jianyan, reduced salt. This version contains 50% less salt than regular soy sauce for consumers concerned about heart disease. Usujio, baoyan, light salt. This version contains 20% less salt than regular soy sauce. All of these varieties are sold in the marketplace in three different grades according to how they were made. Hanjozo, Ben Niang's genuine fermented, contains 100% genuine fermented product. Kongo Jozo, Hun He Niang's mixed fermented, contains genuine fermented shoyu mash mixed with 30 to 50% of chemical or enzymatic hydrolysate of plant protein. Kongo Hun mixed 
Contains Hanjozo or Congo Jozo shoyu mixed with 30–50% of chemical or enzymatic hydrolysate of plant protein All the varieties and grades may be sold according to three official levels of quality. Hyogen, Biao Zun standard grade, contains more than 1.2% total nitrogen. Jokyu, Shang Ji upper grade, contains more than 1.35% of total nitrogen. Takyu, Teiji special grade, contains more than 1.5% of total nitrogen. Soy sauce is also commonly known as shoyu, and less commonly shoyu, in Hawaii and Brazil. Topic: <laughs> Korean. In South Korea, soy sauces or ganjang, ganjang seasoning sauce can be roughly split into two categories, Hansik ganjang Korean style soy sauce and Garyong ganjang modernized soy sauce. The term ganjang can also refer to non-soy based salty condiments, such as eo ganjang fish sauce. <laughs> Hansik ganjang Hansik ganjang, Hansik ganjang Korean style soy sauce is made entirely of fermented soybean and brine. It is a byproduct of doenjang fermented soybean paste production, and has a unique fermented soybean flavor. Both lighter in color and saltier than other Korean ganjang varieties, Hansik ganjang is used mainly in guk soup and namul seasoned vegetable dish in modern Korean cuisine. Common names for Hansik ganjang include jaresik ganjang, jaylesik ganjang traditional soy sauce, joseon ganjang, Joseon soy sauce, and guk ganjang, guk ganjang soup soy sauce. The homebrewed variety is also called jip ganjang, jip ganjang home soy sauce. Depending on the length of aging, Hansik ganjang can be divided into three main varieties: clear, middle, and dark. Hat ganjang, hey ganjang new soy sauce, soy sauce aged for a year, also called changjang, changjang clear soy sauce. Young ganjang, ganjang middle soy sauce, soy sauce aged for three to four years. Jin ganjang, ganjang dark soy sauce, soy sauce aged for more than five years. Also called jinjang, ganjang aged soy sauce, nongjang, nongjang thick soy sauce, or jingamjang, jingamjang aged mature soy sauce. Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety's food code classifies hansik ganjang into two categories by their ingredients. Jere Hansik Ganjang, Jelahansik Ganjang, traditional Korean style soy sauce, made with traditional style miju and brine. Garyong Hansik Ganjang, Garyong Hansik Ganjang, modernized Korean style soy sauce, made with non-traditional miju, which can be made of regular soybean, rice, barley, wheat, or soybean meal, and ripened using traditional method or aspergillus and brine. Topic. Garyong ganjang Garyong ganjang Garyong ganjang modernized soy sauce referring to varieties of soy sauces not made of miju is now the most widely used type of soy sauce in modern Korean cuisine the word ganjang without modifiers in bakum stir fry joram braised or simmered dishes and jjim steamed dishes recipes usually mean garyong ganjang Another common name of garyong ganjang is jin ganjang, jinganjang, dark soy sauce, because garyong ganjang varieties are usually darker in appearance compared to traditional hansik ganjang. Having been introduced to Korea during the era of Japanese forced occupation, garyang ganjang is also called wae ganjang, wegenjang, wae soy sauce. Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety's Food Code classifies garyong ganjang into four categories by their method of production. Brewed soy sauce, yangjiganjang yangjo ganjang made by fermenting soybean, soybean meal, or other grains with saline solution. Acid hydrolyzed soy sauce, sanbunhaganjang made by hydrolyzing raw materials containing protein with acid. Enzyme hydrolyzed soy sauce made by hydrolyzing raw materials containing protein with enzyme. Blended soy sauce also called mixed soy sauce. Blended soy sauce can be made by blending hansik ganjang Korean style soy sauce or yangjo ganjang brewed soy sauce with acid hydrolyzed soy sauce or enzyme hydrolyzed soy sauce. 
Topic Other Eo Ganjang fish sauce. Made mainly in Jeju Island, Eo Ganjang is a soy sauce substitute made of Jayotgal fermented fish. Topic Malaysian and Singaporean. Malays from Malaysia, using the Malay dialect similar to Indonesian, use the word kaikap for soy sauce. Kaikap is traditionally of two types, kaikap lemak lit. Fat, rich soy sauce, and kaikap care. Kaikap lemak is similar to Indonesian ketchup manis but with very much less sugar while kaikap care is the Malaysian equivalent of ketchup asin. Taiwanese. <inaudible> 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 The history of soy sauce making in Taiwan can be traced back to southeastern China, in the provinces of Fujian and Guangdong. Taiwanese soy sauce is known for its black bean variant, known as black bean soy sauce, Heido Yinyu which takes longer to make about six months. Most major soy sauce makers in Taiwan make soy sauce from soybeans and wheat, and are widely popular, and are available in many oriental foods and grocery stores. Some make black bean soy sauce, which is very widely used in Chinese and Oriental cooking as an excellent flavor enhancer. Topic: <inaudible> Thai. In Thailand, soy sauce is called siiu Thai. Siiu kao Thai. Siiu white soy sauce. Is used as regular soy sauce in Thai cuisine, while siiu dam Thai siu black soy sauce is used primarily for color. Another darker colored variety, siiu wan Thai siu sweet soy sauce, is used for dipping sauces. St prung rot Thai sx prung or seasoning sauce is also commonly used in modern Thai cuisine. Topic: Vietnamese. In Vietnam, Chinese-style soy sauce is called shi do, derived from the Cantonese name shi yu or nuoc tuong. The term soy sauce could also imply other condiments and soy bean paste with thick consistency known as tuong. Both are used mostly as a seasoning or dipping sauce for a number of dishes. Vietnamese cuisine itself favors fish sauce in cooking but nuoc tuong has a clear presence in vegetarian cuisine. Topic: <inaudible> Nutrition. <inaudible> <inaudible> a study by the National University of Singapore showed that Chinese dark soy sauce contains 10 times the antioxidants of red wine and can help prevent cardiovascular diseases. Soy sauce is rich in lactic acid bacteria and of excellent anti allergic potential. Soy sauce does not contain the level of isoflavones associated with other soy products such as tofu or edamame. It can also be very salty, having a salt content between 14 to 18 percent. Low sodium soy sauces are made, but it is difficult to make soy sauce without using some quantity of salt as an antimicrobial agent. A serving of 100 milliliters of soy sauce contains, according to the USDA, Energy, 60 kcal Fat, 0.1 g Carbohydrates, 5.57 g Fibers, 0.8 g Protein, 10.51 g Sodium, 6 g Carcinogens <coughs> 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 Soy sauce may contain ethyl carbamate, a group 2A carcinogen. In 2001, the United Kingdom Food Standards Agency found in testing various soy sauces manufactured in mainland China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Thailand made from hydrolyzed soy protein, rather than being naturally fermented, that 22% of tested samples contained a chemical carcinogen named 3MCPD, 3MONOCHLOROPROPANE1, 2-diol, at levels considerably higher than those deemed safe by the EU. About two-thirds of these samples also contained a second carcinogenic chemical named 1,3-DCP 1,3-DICHLOROPROPANE2OL which experts advise should not be present at any levels in food. 
Both chemicals have the potential to cause cancer, and the agency recommended that the affected products be withdrawn from shelves and avoided. The same carcinogens were found in soy sauces manufactured in Vietnam, causing a food scare in 2007. In Canada, the Canadian Cancer Society writes Health Canada has concluded that there is no health risk to Canadians from use of available soy and oyster sauces. Because continuous lifetime exposure to high levels of 3-MCPD could pose a health risk, Health Canada has established 1.0 part per million ppm as a guideline for importers of these sauces, in order to reduce Canadians' long-term exposure to this chemical. This is considered to be a very safe level. <laughs> Allergies Most varieties of soy sauce contain wheat, to which some people have a medical intolerance. However, some naturally brewed soy sauces made with wheat may be tolerated by people with a specific intolerance to gluten because gluten is not detectable in the finished product. Japanese tamari soy sauce is traditionally wheat-free, and some tamari available commercially today is wheat and gluten-free. See also. List of Chinese sauces List of condiments List of fermented soy products <laughs>